Well, thanks for the brief introdu uh, introduction. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Xin Zhang from the Chinese University of Hong Kong. I'm very glad to present our paper towards deeper understanding of PPR-based embedding approaches, a topological perspective. So it's about the interpretability about the node embeddings. So given a graph G with N nodes and M edges, node embedding aims to map nodes from the original graph into d-dimensional representations. Node embedding has achieved significant attention in the last few decades. Among these researches, random walk-based alternative uh, approaches and matrix factorization approaches are representatives, such as deep walk and strap. Recently, some matrix factorization methods first compute a PPR-related proximity matrix and then decompose this matrix to generate embeddings. So that's PPR-based node embedding. It's, it's uh, belong to the matrix factorization method. And PPR-based embedding approaches have achieved a state-of-the-art performance on various downstream graph mining tasks, such as link prediction and classification. And here we show an example on the classification task. And as we can see, the, the right one, the PPR-based embedding approach, achieves better results compared to the blue one, the random walk-based approach. And similar results on, for example, link prediction and classification are shown in recent research studies. So here is a result. But why? No, no, nobody care, uh, nobody answered the question why PPR based embedding outperforms the random walk based uh, embeddings. So here we want to fill this research gap because nobody answered the question why. So we, fo uh, we focus on three fundamental questions. The first one, what topological information can be encoded by PPR-based embeddings? And the second one, what is the relationship between the spectral approaches and PPR-based embedding approaches? And thirdly, why do PPR-based embeddings consistently outperform runwalk based alternatives? So to, to answer these questions, first let me introduce the problem we studied. The first problem is embedding inversion. So suppose we have an undirected graph G with embedding EG, and the goal is to generate an approximation G hat from the embedding EG. So we want to recover the graph topology. And the second problem called graph recovery. So now we have the two graphs, G and G hat. The G hat is the approximation, and we have and, and we know the embeddings of EG and EG hat is similar, are similar. And the goal is to minimize the dissimilarities between the topological characteristics between G and G hat, such as the edges, the path length, and the community structures. So what we want to do is to propose some embedding inversion algorithms, and then evaluate these algorithms on the graph recovery task using different metrics. So before we introduce our algorithm, first let me introduce our unified framework. Generally speaking, the PPR-based embedding approaches primarily first compute a K-hole proximity matrix and then decompose this matrix to generate embeddings, such as X and Y. And for here we can see the summation part in the MK. It is actually the graph diffusion matrix with the PPR coefficients. So if we substitute this part to the graph diffusion matrix S, then PPR-based embeddings can be viewed as a special case of the diffusion-based uh, embedding approach. And also, we can see there are so many parameters here in the MK. So if we set different values for for the, these parameters, then we can generate different embedding approach. So this framework established the connections among different PPR-based embedding approaches. And these are some special cases. So if we set these parameters accordingly, then we can generate different embed sorry different embedding approaches. And if you are interested, please refer to our paper. And now let me introduce our embedding inversion algorithm under this unified framework. 
So our goal is to generate an approximation g hat of the original graph g, given the embedding eg. We want to do the graph recovery. So we have two solutions. Our first solution is the analytical method. We use the eigen decomposition on the transition matrix P. And also, we introduce a new proximity matrix M infinity when K goes to infinity in our theoretical analysis. And this theorem shows that if we know K goes to infinity and A is full rank, then we can accurately recover the adjacent matrix A from the embedding EG. So here is the basic idea of our analytical method. First, since we have the embedding X and Y, so we can do the matrix multiplication to get MK. Then we suppose K goes to infinity, so we can do some approximation to get the M infinity. And then we can calculate the normalized Laplacian matrix as follows. As step three, we can calculate the recovered adjacent matrix it had. And finally, we use the binarization function to generate the recovered adjacent matrix it had, uh, sorry, a tilde. So if you are interested, please refer to our paper for the theoretical analysis. And also we have a second solution, a more straightforward optimization method. Here's the basic idea of our algorithm. Uh, firstly, we will initialize the output adjacent matrix it had. So it's fully param parameterized. And since we have the A hat, so we can calculate the MK hat using the PPR equation. And at step three and step four, we can update the A hat to minimize the proximity matrix distance between MK hat and the original MK. So finally, we can generate the output embedding, uh, sorry, the adjacent matrix, A tilde using the binarization function. So that's our solutions. If you are interested, please refer to our paper. And we evaluate on six data sets of our method, and the parameters are set as follows. We first compare our two algorithms using the relative forbidden error of the reconstructed adjacent matrix compared to the original one. And the lower the better. So as we can see, the optimization method achieves better re results. So in the following, we only report the optimization method of our algorithms. And we compare our algorithms with the reconstructed graph from the deep walk embedding. So this method called DW backwards, it reconstructed from the deep walk embeddings. And here we directly show the adjacent matrix of the different methods. So as we can see, the adjacent matrix reconstructed from the PPR-based embedding is more similar to the original one, right? And also we evaluate on different uh, metrics. The first one is the relative forbidden error of the or, uh, adjacent matrix reconstructed by different methods. The lower the better. The red one is PPR based and the blue one is the uh, deep walk based. So as we can see, PPR based embeddings can preserve more accurate edge information. And this figure shows the result on the relative average path length. Here the average path length error means the distance error between all node pairs of the original graph. So the lower the better. As we can see, the PPR based embedding can preserve more accurate long-range information. And thirdly, we conduct experiments to evaluate different methods on the relative conductance error of the top four largest communities. And again, we can see the PPR-based embeddings can preserve more accurate community structure information. So in conclusion, in this paper, we introduce a closed form framework that unifies state of the art PPR based embedding approaches. And we present 
a framework that consists of two PPR-based embedding inversion algorithms for the graph recovery task. And we conduct experiments on six real-world graphs, and the results show that the PPR-based embeddings can preserve more accurate topological information compared to the runmark-based embeddings. So this result uh, provides a topological perspective to explain why PPR-based embeddings achieves better results compared to the deep walk based embeddings. So that's the end of our presentation. Thank you.